In this lesson, we will learn what percentage yield represents and how to calculate percentage yield. As you will have seen in our videos on molecular masses and conservation of mass, it is possible to predict the theoretical mass of product formed in a reaction. For example, take the reaction of ethene and water to produce ethanol. Ethene has a molecular mass of 28, water a molecular mass of 18, and ethanol a molecular mass of 46. From this, we can deduce that using 28 grams of ethene and excess water, the theoretical mass of ethanol formed is 46 grams. However, this is very much a theoretical mass. In practice, the mass of the product formed is actually less than the mass we predict due to the inefficiency of the reaction process. This can be for a variety of reasons. Not all the reactants being used up, products escaping the reaction vessel, or even the physical loss of products during transfers. Percentage yield tells us the efficiency of a reaction in that it shows us the amount of product that was practically made as a percentage of the mass of theoretical product that should have been made. To calculate percentage yield, we therefore do the actual yield of product formed divided by the theoretical yield of product formed multiplied by 100. Let us now look back at our example in which we had calculated that 28 grams of ethene produced a theoretical yield of 46 grams of ethanol. Let's say this was carried out in practice and only 42 grams of ethanol was actually produced. We therefore need to work out 42 as a percentage of 46. This will show us the percentage yield. Using the calculation, we do practical yield, 42, divided by theoretical yield, 46, which equals 0 0.913, multiplied by 100, 91.3%. It can now be clearly seen that in this reaction we only produce 91.3% of what was expected. In industry, to ensure we have maximum reaction efficiency, we would now modify our methods to improve this yield. Yield can be calculated in any suitable unit of measurement, and therefore at higher levels, moles may be used. Let's try another example using moles. Salicylic acid is used to produce aspirin. In a reaction, 0.74 moles are produced instead of a theoretical 0.755 moles of aspirin. Pause the video now to calculate the percentage yield. Percentage yield equals actual yield divided by theoretical multiplied by 100. In this reaction, we have an actual yield of 0.74 divided by a theoretical 0.755 moles, which equals 0.98. Multiply this by 100 to find a percentage yield of 98%. Pause the video and have a think about what 98% tells us about the efficiency of this reaction. This percentage yield is high, which tells us that the reaction is efficient with little loss of products little waste of reactants and therefore a reduction in the cost of the process. Now at the end of this lesson you should be able to state what percentage yield shows and be able to calculate a percentage yield.